déclassé rhapsody déclassé Mr. Love Love déclassé rhapsody hey guys hey guys hey guys hey guys hey guys hey guys and welcome to another car showcase episode today with the déclassé rhapsody I'm gonna be showcasing this today it's a rather small car and uh, it's got a funny looking back as well the front looks alright let's see uh, see how this uh, sounds smooth nothing uh too much like a washing machine but uh let's just see okay this is uh i believe i mean i'm just gonna presume this is gonna be one of the slowest cars from the dlc just by its acceleration just struggle to hit the next gear so uh yeah so far i mean the engine sounds real real quiet so smooth b between each gear change so we'll see this will definitely not be the car that I'll be choosing to drive with. I'm not sure where this idea came from, but this car. Who would have thought about this design? It's a rather weird combination with the uh, rear and the front. But I, I deal with it. You know, we'll see. We'll see. You know, we can't really judge it yet because we haven't seen the customizable options from the mad shops. So. We're gonna go to the hat shop right now and see what we can get. So uh, let's do it. Rala. As we struggle to even reach its top speed on the straight. Yeah. Long intervals between each gear change. Long ass gear ratios. Alright. Rapsuri. Oh, we got bumpers. I see a little bit of bumpers there. Let's see what we got in the bumpers. Oh, okay, that's all good. All right. Anyway, that seems like where the hell? What the fish? Where's the exhaust? All right, it's on the side. Fair enough. Fenders. Ah, uh, this has oh, fl what flames? Okay, but to what? What? Just the small little flames in the front there. You can see on the sides and the skirts. That that is that is surprising actually. I suppose they. Wow, okay, fair enough. Um, I don't know, it sort of ruins it with arches and side flames, so I'm gonna keep it with just the f side flames. All about making a statement. That's interesting, actually. Oh, shit! What the fish? No, no way, that, that doesn't make sense at all. I would. Wow, okay. You know what? I might as well just put it on just for the. Lol! It's on the lights. Play lights. I know we got the um, the gold, the gold, yes, the gold and black. You know I'm keep the secondary black. Fuck it, fuck it. So uh, after that we have this. Oh, ducktail spoiler. All right, all right, okay, okay. Suspension, transmission, turbo, wheels. Ah, okay, muscle, 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 muscle wheels. Get it. Uh, muscle freak. That is fresh to nice bed. cracker. What? I I'm doing car showcase. Don't interrupt me, Hassel. All right, pure black. And there we go. That is all the customizable options for this car. It's pretty weird. Oh, wait a minute. The front actually reminds me of something. The Volkswagen. You know the Volkswagen from back in the days. Get rid of the hood, but you know what I'm saying. But from the back, it looks like a donkey's ass. But anyway, I'm gonna rev this up real quick. Now it's like a slight little raw to it. All right, the rear looks absolutely ugly, but I'm loving the front from this angle. Let's do it. <laughs> this struggle to freaking accelerate with those rear spins. Um, just a little tip, guys. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you wanna get a Boost start. This doesn't work in races, obviously, but you wanna you wanna rev the car up and then slightly uh, press L2 and wait. Sorry, I completely failed. So you wanna rev the car up, press L2 slightly, push it in to to let you completely let go of your. And you get that little boost. So you sort of like, okay, let me explain it real quick. I'm so bad at explaining and doing it at the same time. But to completely stop the rear spins as you accelerate, you want to obviously rev up your engine. 
hold L2 because if you just let go like this, obviously you get rear spins, right? So you want to hold your handbrake at the same time, accelerate, obviously rev your engine up and then hold, hold your L2 button slightly in so the rev sound stops a little bit, goes quiet. And at this point, let go of your handbrake. Oh, sorry, I fucking failed completely. So let's do that again. You'll let go of your handbrake at this point. And you get that little boost there. You see that little boost there? That. So you don't get any rear spins at all. And you get this insane acceleration. So that was one of the worst explanations I can give you in demonstrations. But if you guys managed to get it, then you're f fucking amazing. If not, my apologies. But anyway, let's keep this going. This works with any car, by the way. You just want to completely stop the rear spins. This is if you want to get off tight situations. Like if you're going uphill or uh, Mount Chiliad or something. And you're kind of stuck. You You can do that easily. Oh fuck no! Oh, that's our matrix shit. I don't know how we ended up. Okay, we sort of got a stretch at the left hand side. Whatever. I got this OCD of just making sure I don't damage my car for some reason. This this is pretty much with me ever since GTA 3, which was my first actually uh, first GTA that I played. It's fucking amazing that game. It's a whole sort of dark theme. The dark weather was the best. Nighttime on that game was the best for some reason. Obviously, looking back at the graphics now, you're like, whoa, I was not expecting that. But back in the days, it was amazing. All right, we're doing a traditional stunt jump in case you guys don't know what I'm doing here. It's going to be testing the... Oh, my God. This is... Wow. This is higher than I expected with this car. I say it's, I say it's a lot with its uh, capabilities of top speed. That's crazy. But yeah, definitely the um, the lights remind me of the Volkswagen from this angle. Like, seriously, a lot of resemblance to that. Not sure about the rear, though. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think the combination of car from real life to this is. Uh, I see a lot of Volkswagen into it. Definitely do the old school Volkswagen back in the head days. So, let's keep this going. The uh, general look to the car after customizing it is a bit... Really, I think it's down to preference. I'm not really too appealed about the whole sort of uh, hood there. Massive bore just sticking out. I just did it for the sake of just showing it, but definitely it's kind of distracting as well. A little bit of knob sticking out there. Holy shit. General handling of the car, I suppose, you know, nothing too special about it. Obviously, it's quite easy to handle because it doesn't go at high speeds and the fact that I mean, it's rather stiff, to be honest. It's not that responsive if you want to immediately turn left and right as you're accelerating, I suppose. So, generally speaking, I mean, I suppose it's got an element of... I Put it this way, I know it's pretty stupid comparing this to the handling of the Masakura, but technically, it's got the same feel to it as you sort of turn left and right continuously. It's the same feel as you do that with the Masakura. So that's sort of the best comparison I can give with the handling. Or sort of the best explanation of how it feels. So let's take this real quick to the uh the cargo, the cargo place. The ca <laughs> the cargo place. Hoo hoo! Weave, baby, weave! Fuck you going. Damn son. It's it is so um what do you call it? I honestly I mean I'm not a huge fan of this car just because of its rear. It's not that appealing to me. Oh shit. Holy shit. But the front, definitely the front, I like the front because it resembles a lot of the Volkswagen. Which I haven't seen uh too much of the old school Volkswagen in the game. So I like that. They brought that in. So uh, let's quickly, to a certain extent you can drift with it, but you're asking too much of yourself, you really want to force yourself. I, I'd i say this car, at the moment from all the showcased cars, this is by far my least favourite out of the ones I've just shown. I haven't seen the others yet, I'm showcasing them as I select them in order. Actually, you know what, this is actually pretty decent car to drift with around the apex of these corners, you know, really is smooth. And you can sort of just tell, like, just by the way the car is moving through the, um, 
through the tail of the car as it goes around these corners with ease obviously it's got a lot to do with uh, the timing but it, it's, it's pretty cool actually obviously you're not drifting around these corners at intense speeds but still it's rather smooth but anyway guys this is the uh, the classic I completely forgot the freaking name <laughs> It's the Declasse Rosola Dolt. Uh, Ro Rhapsody, sorry. I don't know what I said before. It's like Rosola Dolt. Nah, it's a Rhapsody. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the showcase. This uh, There's nothing special about this car, to be honest, except for the hood, I suppose. Uh, other than that, you know, it's a rather ugly car from the rear. In my personal opinion, it's just preference, obviously. Let me know what you guys think about this car. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Check your son out. Good night. Peace. Yeah! That's interesting. Wow. Hey guys, you here, right? Hey, G, you know, welcome to another GTA 5 car showcase episode from the brand new Hipster DLC that got released today. We're going to be showcasing the Vulcan Warrener sedan. And uh, thanks.